right. Hi, everyone, and thanks again for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Edward Gorbis with me. Edward is the CEO of Career Meets World, an online coaching platform for immigrant and first-generation executives and a startup advisor who helps startups develop their growth strategies. Edward, welcome to the podcast. Thanks so much for having me, Michael. Let's dive right in here. Uh, question number one, Edward, why did you become a coach? The answer is quite simple, and I think it probably aligns with a, a lot of coaches, but for me, it's really about helping people. And I, throughout my career, have always been fortunate to receive a lot of help, and I always enjoyed dishing it back out. I always believe what comes around goes around, and whether it was mentoring, facilitating different groups, volunteering, leading teams, building teams, it was just a core part of my identity. And for me, I knew that I wanted to pass that forward in a more meaningful, structured way. And that's why I essentially started my coaching practice and started to hone in on how exactly I want to help people. I love it. That's great. Uh, question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Yeah, especially for me, coaching has become centered really around helping a specific demographic. Being an immigrant myself from Ukraine originally, I moved here when I was really young to the States and I knew that I wanted to give back to the same group of people. So for me, it's really about serving the immigrant and first generation population, whether you're in the career space, you're an entrepreneur, you have a small business, it's really about making sure that you feel empowered, you know how to thrive, you have the right mindset to succeed in the American game of business because it's quite different from most other countries. So I want to teach people exactly how to thrive here. I love it. I love it. Uh, question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? Yeah, so I think we all know that the coaching industry is somewhat saturated and a big part of success is really differentiating yourself in a way that is meaningful to a subset of people. My job is not to help everyone, it's to help a particular group of people be ultra successful. So for me, the longest thing that I had to figure out and the hardest thing was really about my core messaging, who I serve, how I serve them. Once that happened, everything started to show up the right way. I started to show up the right way. There's more energy involved in every communication that I give out, every single piece of content that I create, even how I actually show up for my clients. So that was the biggest hurdle and a hurdle that I personally, and know a lot of other coaches don't necessarily want to invest time in because mm -hmm. we fall into this trap that we want to help everyone. 100%. I love, love, love that answer. Um, and as someone myself who works with coaches on kind of their their brand and their marketing, 100% agree. I couldn't agree more. Um, I think I may have jumped the gun there. I skipped question number three. So we're going to circle back to that. Where right. do you find your clients? So a big core of my clients comes really from two places. One, I've devoted my time to creating content on LinkedIn. So you can find me there. That's where I spend the majority of my time posting and more so engaging and helping people honestly through comments, DMs. That lends to a clear funnel. If they have questions, I send them straight to my website. I've made my coaching practice as transparent and as clear as possible. So people just end up going straight to my website from LinkedIn. The other one just now is referrals, right? Mm -hmm. Once you establish a practice, people start to trust you. They understand the value that you deliver and naturally people will send more people your way. And that's a luxury and I don't take it for granted, but that's something that I definitely value and appreciate. Love it. Uh, skipping forward now, <laughs> took back to question number five. Um, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, Edward, what would that be? It's a good question. So I think people start coaching at different points in their life in different ways, meaning some people start a side hustle and they coach while sure. they're at a job and they kind of stabilize their W-2 with the coaching income. Mm -hmm. What I wish I would have done differently is I actually just decided to take the plunge, meaning I quit my job. I was working at WeWork. I truthfully was earning a quarter million dollars of every single year and it was the middle of the pandemic and I decided to quit my job because I felt compelled to help as many people as possible, given the number of people that were unemployed last year in 2020. That being said, it made it a lot harder personally 
to start developing a personal brand, so many people flooded online to not only find jobs, but to also start their own coaching practice. So timing wasn't necessarily perfect. And personally, I'm relatively risk averse. I try to do things more thoughtfully. And I took the plunge here because I thought I would challenge myself. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, I still figured things out, but it was something that I wish I would have done a little bit differently. Maybe stayed at my job that was at that point, I'd say cushy and work mm -hmm. on things on the side and then really ramp into things. So I created more stress and pressure on myself that did not need to exist uh -huh. just because I wanted to dive right in. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I like that. Um, moving on to the bonus question, Edward, what is one book that you would recommend all your clients read? Think and Grow Rich. It is <laughs> the best book you will read. It really embodies what my practice is as a whole, because I focus on people understanding how to rewire their brain and actually look at things through a different lens and have a more empowered belief system. You become what you think. It is literally that simple. And once you buy into that mentality, everything changes. Yep. We've got, we've got two copies of it in this house. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and they're both, they're both well read. Um, that's fantastic. Edward, is there anything that you would like to uh, add or pitch or promote? And also please let us know where people can connect with you online. Absolutely. So I think we all hide in different pockets of the internet. For me, it's really about connecting with people on LinkedIn and building genuine relationships. So that's basically the best place to find me. You can download a free copy of my free book uh, called Unbreakable Mindset, which is available on careermeetsworld.com. Everything else is on there. So if you want to connect, those are the two best places to find me. Appreciate you having me on. Awesome. Edward Gorbis, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Coaches. Thank you. And thanks to our audience for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Cheers.